This game feels like it's in the bag. We get this first down, the game's over. We go the other way. We got a huge hole. And boom, he gets me with a hit stick. Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. Got a defensive gameplay video for you guys today. That's right, a tip video gameplay. I haven't done that in a while. I'm going to try to do this kind of like other YouTubers have been doing it, an inside the mind type of thing, instead of just going over money play videos or whatever. I'm going to try to show you guys what you should be looking for and what you should be thinking when it comes to playing defense uh, in any Madden, because it really isn't all about money plays. There's specific things that you should be doing when it comes to playing defense. That's what today's video is going to be about. Now, as always, if you guys want to see more gameplay, Plays like this do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section also if you want to get your mud team up like mine make sure to check out my coin sponsors at mmoxp.com link in the description below and use discount code money shot to get five percent off now i'm starting off on offense i'm using the tampa buccaneers playbook which is the playbook i've been using for some time now if you guys want to see uh you know any of the offense that i'm using in a practice mode you want to get more information on it i will have a link in the description for all the offenses and defenses that i will be using now my opponent i'm playing today has a very good defense he's going to be running a lot of man coverage i haven't can't I've run into a lot of man coverage users lately, especially man cover one like this guy's using on the very next play. One step ahead, guys that run man coverage. Those defenses are going to be very hard to beat. On this next play, I got lucky that he wasn't covering the running back. Oops! Like he was supposed to. Then on the next play, he gets me to a third and seven. I thought I had this zig pretty much locked up. <laughs> Nope. But by the time I throw that ball, that cornerback caught up pretty quick. Now, this particular gameplay, there's a lot of moments where I really question DDA. Just holding the ball, waiting for this guy to get open. That running back's got like an 85 catch. He definitely should have caught that. On the defensive side, one of the first tips would be, you know, wait for your opponent to pick their play. You always want to go off your opponent's personnel and try to match that. Now, my first opponent here in the very first series, he must be taking a long time to set up his particular offense. Two hours later. It's a big advantage to see what your opponent is running and try to match that. Now, I'm going to match it with one of my better uh, blitzes. But it's also a very good run defense as long as it's an inside run. Based off the fact that it's a cover three and these quarterbacks drop back. <laughs> plays which is exactly what my opponent hits me with on the very first play so i don't know if that was planned or if he just got lucky but ultimately one of the biggest things when it comes to playing madden is knowing the weakness of your defense and user defending that so on that first play there he hit me to the outside that's a weakness that i really should have been on top of on the very next play i'm gonna go right back to that defense only this time i'm gonna be ready for it people will typically repeat success until you stop it now on this next play i get blown up by the block <laughs> I really thought that I was going to have more success as a user there, so I'm going to get out of that defense entirely, because if he's going to keep doing it, I'm not going to let him keep doing it against the defense that it favors. On the next play, I'm going to set up uh, one of my strongest run defenses, which is cover four quarters. You should have the playbook you're using scouted to the point where you know exactly where your best plays are for what situations. What's your best pass defense is, what your best run defense is, what your best blitz is, what your best goal line defense is. You should have all this stuff already mapped out, so you can go right to it when you need it in a situation. And basically, shut this guy down as you can see right here i mean i'm hard flatting everybody i'm pressing i'm bringing the safeties down we can go and the, the run defense is so ferocious, it looks like it was a run commit. That was not a run commit. That's just how good that run defense is. So now we're in third and 10. Uh, he's been a very run heavy player to this point. Uh, I can't disregard it, but I also have to play the situation. At third and 10, the chance of him running the ball and getting the first down is pretty slim. So I'm going to come out in a pretty pass heavy defense, even though he's in the exact same formation. I set up my run defense the best that I can. You can see right here, just all the speed on the field stretches him out and we get a stop. Nope. So that's actually a pretty good defensive series considering where I gave him the ball and the fact that he busted off a big play right off the bat. So giving up three right there is pretty much a win in my book. On the offensive side, it's not working out too good for me as he almost gets a safety. <gasps> Pushes me all the way back to a ridiculous 4th and 35 on the 1. So I got to punt away. Like I said, my defense is going to have to stand extra tall on the next series. I get a really good punt though. And I basically flip the field enough that he doesn't even get back to midfield. Which is great because once again, offense is definitely not going my way. So we're going right back to that run defense. Because he had enough success on that first series. That it looks like he's going to go right back to that. And we're just shutting it down now. So he's going to have to completely change his game plan. On 3rd and 7, I'm going to hit him with an all-out blitz. He hasn't seen this blitz yet. 
yet, so he's not going to expect it coming. But I'm sending all out heat on third and seven. I'm going to make him make a super fast decision. Oh, we can go. Woo! I guess he thinks he can get it all. Gotcha, bitch. And we're coming back the other way with an interception. So, but we got to start doing something with our offense. He's going to have us in a position where we're really going to have to settle for a lot of dink and dunk passing because his defense, it's one of the meta defenses where he runs pretty much all man coverage, but he has, you know, the cloud flats to the outside going about 20 to 25. I mean, that's a really hard defense. No! Nothing's really working out. On fourth and seven, we're going to go for it. Uh, and I, I like the play I got dialed up. I mean, I'm going right to that wire out. I get outside. As I pass lead outside, it should have been a catch. But once again, nope. Wilson. That's two in a row. On fourth down, two in a row get knocked out. A little bit of DDA might be going on. Then back on the defensive side, I mean, like I said, I got faith in my defense. It's one of the reasons I'm going to go for it at midfield. And he's going to keep running the ball. I mean, same formation, everything. He must have had a lot of success with this in the past, but he has not run to this run defense. This run defense is 100% legit. Get your ass down. And he's right at the point where he's basically right in field goal territory. Now, on this next play, I make a huge mistake. Always play your defense to a point where you're basically defending the end zone. I pretty much was pre-snap reading this, this formation. And I've seen this formation a million times and I tried to jump the running back but I did it at the expense of giving up the tight end pretty much a stupid decision it was pretty much a frustration decision then on the very next play on offense I make another bad decision out of frustration basically just bombing up even though my guy didn't get passed Dude. that's pretty much to the point where I'm at this defense this offense he's running all of it has got me frustrated you really can't play the game that way so on the defensive side I can't expect him to try to run the ball with 25 seconds left to go 75 yards he hasn't been having success anyway so he's going to pass and I'm pretty much going to lock it down but he's showing me a lot of signs that he's going to be aggressive with this 20 seconds that he has in this one timeout. so i don't want to be in a hole down three scores so i'm going to give him uh, my cover two man which is going to be one of the harder to you know hit a one play touchdown defenses in the game without really also giving up anything you know too short because he could easily just dink and dunk me and get a field goal so i'm not gonna let that happen on the next play i mean he almost has that just gets a bad throw animation then on the next play on third and eight i mean i'm, I'm gonna make an adjustment that route was open so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna make an adjustment to that i'm gonna put this guy on a curl flat hopefully to take that away if he's going to try to do the exact same play and then we got a user this running back which i typically don't want to do i typically want to freelance luckily the pressure gets in we can go on fourth and eight, though, for some reason, with eight seconds left, he's going for it. I don't know if he was going to bomb it up, but this is not the best decision. I'm going to send him with this all-out pressure one more time because it worked last time. Hey, gotcha, bitch. He's throwing an interception that we're coming the other way with. So he just left the door wide open and let me get right back into this game with a very poor decision. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Second half, we're back on the defensive side. He gets ball again. And then on the next play, I mean, we just come in with a hell of a user play. Get over here! To shut down that run. Because like I said, you can see, he wants to run the ball. But based on the fact that I'm having so much success, I'm really taking away that option. Then on the next play, I don't really want to cover this running back. Typically, you want to set up your defense to give yourself as little responsibility as possible. So I'm going to make an adjustment. He's been hitting the flats a lot. I'm going to put this running back on a man. And you can see right here, he's running for his life. Run, bitch! He's getting some pressure. Because he gets a penalty. Now, I decline this penalty because i'd much rather get him to a, a fourth down and you know hopefully he punts this time so ultimately in this next play i'm going to make my most adjustments yet this play here i mean i've got everything going on i've got you know i put my hard flat on a, on a cloud flat i man the running back because i know he's been running this play over and over i give myself a three rack from the defensive end by bluff blitzing because he's been running with a lot of slants with that slot receiver so i immediately go through my defensive reads which is number one the running back number two the slant which is exactly what i said he was going to do based off the fact that he already ran this play multiple times nope and nothing he wanted to be open was open as just to throw the ball away and punt the ball away to me which is really all they wanted so on the next series on offense i really have to have a little bit more success i hit him with a fullback inside and if i had dree archer at this spot i might have had a touchdown as we almost fumbled the ball again then on the next play i'm gonna hit him with a z spot this is another play that i recently put out really good cover three play but it's also a really good cover one man play as right here i'm gonna put this b route here on a drag give myself a check down and i'm gonna shorten this x route sure enough he's all over that drag but the x route beats his man break yourself fool <laughs> And we're just dropping that in the bucket right in the end zone. Now, on the defensive side, we're up four. We're going to hit him with some dollar three, two, six. I've realized that once he goes to this formation, he typically turns into a passer. So he's definitely giving away what it is he likes to do based off formation. So you have to remember these things. On the next play, I'm going to switch it up, hit him with a cover two, just to give him something new to look at. I don't want him to diagnose my defense too easily and just start beating with stuff. This play here was all crossers. So he was probably trying to beat my cover four quarters because that's susceptible to crossers. So luckily, I switched it out. Then, once again, the defensive side, my user is really making up for a lack of run defenses. I'm coming out in very small packages. That's what she said. <laughs>
On third and five, I mean, once again, we're gonna come out and, and we're gonna make a lot of adjustments. We got our three wreck out, we got our hard flat out, all to the open side of the field, all to the side where he's ultimately been hitting this running back in the flats a lot. And you can see nothing's open there as we take away all these crossers, but he still gets it as the running back comes back. Damn it! We get him with third and seven. Uh, we're gonna hit him with that blitz one more time. He's had no success against these blitzes. A little bit of a different setup. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Watch out. Uh, but it works to perfection as the pressure gets in instantly and he has nowhere to go with the ball. He elects to take the field goal. He relies on his defense. I mean, like I said, this is a defensive struggle. We got a one-point game. The margin for error is very slight. I can't make any mistakes, although to start this drive off, I definitely am as these run plays are not necessarily working. Okay. He forces me to a third down pretty quickly as on the next play, I mean, we just get, you know, we're not getting any animations here. I mean, he's just closing in on me so fast. I see he's running a lot of cover two man still, so I'm going to hit him with uh, this this play here, the wide receiver corner. Based on the fact this receiver's in so close, he should have an inside release against any man cover too. So I should be able to get this nine yards. And sure enough, he plays off enough that it's right there. We get the first down. So then on second and 11, I mean, I, I don't want to make any mistakes. So we're going to take off with the quarterback and we're going to get a first down. As you can see right there, I mean, he's pretty much just spread out with this man coverage. So everything's working perfectly. This game feels like it's in the bag. I mean, we're moving the ball, you know, well enough as he's, you know, to the point now where he already only has one timeout second and six we're just gonna hit him with a run play we get this first down the game's over we go the other way we got a huge hole and boom he gets me with a hit stick and Dree Archer's little butt puts the ball on the ground now you know this is not a good situation he's only about maybe two first downs away from hitting a game-winning field goal I got no room for errors making the exact same adjustments we're all over this running back uh, it looks like everything's locked up but he did have this guy just wide open in the middle of the field I'm open. he just didn't pull the trigger in time by the time he does nope ball hits the ground so on third and ten we're setting the house one more time we've had a lot of success doing this he hasn't been blocking anybody on the next play, it does get through. We can go. Woo! But he gets the ball off just enough to get to the tight end. The tight end flips the field and is inside the 50. So I, I've only got to defend about nine yards of the field here. We're going to come out. We're going to hit him with this all-out blitz one more time. We've had a lot of success with it. We're going to do a lot of different adjustments. The first time I did this, I didn't make these adjustments, and I gave him a touchdown. On this play, though, we're making some slightly different adjustments. We manned this outside third cornerback to this tight end, and we're going to lurk this running back. And We had this diagnosed from the jump, and sure enough, it was at this moment that he knew. He f up. We're going the other way. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging, oh. I probably shouldn't have scored, um, but based off the fact that I worked hard for that and I wanted to rub it in his face, so I did score, but I gave him an opportunity to come back in this game. So with 39 seconds left, I don't really think he's going to be able to go all the way down the field on my cover two man, so I'm not really 100% worried about it. He's still rolling around a lot. He's got a fast quarterback. He's scrambling out of the pocket. He runs out of bounds. So I'm going to continue to make adjustments. I'm going to basically, on the next play, put everybody into a QB contain so if he tries to roll out again it's going to shut that down and on the very next play that's exactly what happens he just leaves that pocket a little bit too much an instant sack so you always have to be making adjustments from the beginning of the game to the very end um, you know adjustments are key on 30 26 we're hitting with that QB contain one more time gotcha, bitch. so that's it that's the game if you guys want to see more gameplays like this more gameplay tips like this do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out that's what she said <laughs> Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.